welcome or welcome back to uh, episode one actually um for those who don't know the uh what i started maybe uh watch episode zero it's about just where i came from and the basics and uh, for those that are new and don't want to go back hi my name is karsten uh and this episode is about a little bit of the update and the process how the first month went and the whole journey for 12 months. Uh, I was born in the Philippines, but I was raised in the Netherlands. I have never talked Tagalog, so this is kind of like the first steps to getting there. Uh, but I'm, it's gonna take a year. After this month, I know for sure it's gonna take a year. So uh, let's go, let's go. So let's get to the goal of this month and actually it was like a goal for the three months. Um, so I just had basic words and pronunciation on the schedule and I kind of noticed looking back at it uh, that I need to be way more clear uh, what I want to do each month because otherwise I'll just uh, um, slow it down a bit I guess and think yo I still have three months or two months left now. Uh, so uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it, chunk it way better and actually have monthly goals and then chunk it as a big hole, like the basics in three months. Uh, there were some troubles and some problems and obstacles, but I'll tell you in a bit, let's go. So um, instead of like telling you what the plan was, I think it's best that you just tell you what went good and what went like wrong or not so good. I think the common thing is of everything that I did learn was I just uh, hear, heard a lot of uh, Tagalog uh, words that I never heard before and I keep hearing common words like it, I did in songs before and now I see in stories and on uh, some YouTube series. So that's a good thing, just get it all uh, um, input in my brain. And then even though I can't comprehend it, I uh, eventually will just hear it so many times, figure it out, dissect it, and then know. I think that's the most uh, important thing is even though the comprehension isn't there, uh, I will just um, imprint it in my brain. And uh, some words are so uh, commonly used that after a while you get used to it. And I think that's uh, one of the important things. Uh, that's why I think I also started imp implementing like uh, reading uh, children, Tagalog children's stories. Uh, so there are basic words that keep on coming and repeating back. So that really helps me out as well. I think I'll just show you in a bit uh, how I do that. Like you get kind of like how the uh, workflow or how the um, execution of that is. So I think the negatives were that the stuff I wanted to learn wasn't really uh, fun to do like that. Um, I like chunked it out as in I thought I need to know like in three months the thousand uh, uh, basic words and then three, th 333 a, a, a week or something. Um, uh, a month, sorry, a, a month. And then chunk it down to way like 12 a day. And then I thought, well, I'm going to put everything in Anki and then that's um, uh, like space repetition uh, app. Uh, and then that's the way I'm going to learn it. And it didn't happen. I was, pff, I got bored of it. Uh, I saw words like sa that was uh, like meaning 12 words or something. I don't know anymore uh, how many it was. So uh, after a while, uh, that just didn't work out at all. So I think it's way better if it's used in, in the sentence or something that I can actually um, uh, pinpoint my finger on and say, okay, th is, this is used in this context or that uh, instead of just seeing the word and trying to repeat and actually cram it in my brain. And I think after a while, I'll just forget it at all. Uh, so that's um, the main thing I think uh, that I, I did wrong or should do differently in the next uh, months. So before I forget, I kind of already did. Um, I'm just going to tell you the tools that I'm using. Uh, I think I said it before and it didn't change that much. Uh, however, I'm using uh, two new ones, I guess. Uh, it's like Drop. It's a Tagalog app and uh, there are like some words on it, in it. Um, and I'm using close master. I like that more. Uh, it's like um, they give you a sentence and they leave uh, words out of it. And then in a multiple choice format, you have to answer uh, what should be uh, put in it. Uh, 
So uh, I think that one is really good, actually. Uh, at the drop one, I am not consistent on it enough. I think uh, it's uh, handy if you want to know some stuff, like if you want to know body parts or colors or that kind of thing. Uh, I think then it's perfect. Close Master is like an all-round thing, and I uh, it's quite hard, so I, I actually uh, find it interesting and good to learn. Mm. And two for space reputation, uh, I'm using Anki, like flashcard app, and I'm using Notion. Notion is just a uh, note-taking app, and uh, I use the, I don't know what it's called, but you can like uh, hide words um, from it, um, and that's exactly what I'm using it for. Uh, uh, and of course, uh, notes. Um, one of the series, and I did change that up to be honest, I, I thought I'll just uh, watch a series even though without comprehension, I'll just uh, write down words I don't know. Um, and some series went way too fast or um, maybe action or, or a thriller and then I got too involved. And then I thought, well, I'm just actually watching it or maybe reading the English subtitles. So that's not good and I can just watch, watch uh, uh, other shows. Uh, so I changed it up a bit, uh, then I watched a show that I was really not invested in and um, my apologies already if somebody is their favorite show or stuff, uh, but it's from GMA Network, it's called Destined to be Yours, it's way over dramatic but it doesn't really, really matter for me is I don't put on the English subtitles and I just listen uh, to the scenes. Some scenes are too quick to be honest but some scenes are perfect to uh, listen to and uh, dissect and then write down the words i hear over and over uh, so that's a good show uh, for the show itself it's a bit dramatic but i like it to learn uh, uh, words um yeah that's pretty much it i think that's all the the apps that i'm using now nowadays and of course every day i'm listening to uh, uh, opm so uh, that repeats the words as well um, that's pretty much it. So uh, let's go to the updates and the, the progress. Okay, so I think what's best is that I'll shift the camera and then I'll watch the, the screen myself. I'll show you like a, a, how I do dissect uh, some of the things uh, when I see it. And one of, because I think it is also because I didn't do any phone updates or Instagram updates. I might do that in the future, but at least I need to be more consistent enough uh, to uh, learn and do that at the same time. Um, because I made some and I didn't find it interesting at all to post, so I didn't. However, I'll try to make uh, something that's more entertaining, uh, so I'll find something. Okay, let's uh, move the camera. Let's go. So, welcome to the new angle. Um, maybe too close, but we'll see uh, in the future episodes. Uh, one of the things I already do is uh, get short Tagalog stories because uh, I really think that helps me a lot. And most of them are children's stories because those are the easiest ones. I'll just find them on Google and just put them in my notebook and then dissect them one by one, repeat it and revise myself on it. Uh, and then uh, after a while, I get more retention of those words because, you know, uh, the more you hear and uh, read them, I guess, uh, the better you will um, like imprint them in your brain. And the most of the words I don't know, of course, I will uh, uh, write down and uh, find a translation of. So um, it might also be fun for you to hear my progress only. I know it's only a tiny bit, but uh, of uh, me telling the story that's in the screen right now. Uh, I will at the end uh, tell you what I think the story is about, or at least a little. Okay, Otto ni Oscar. Si Oscar ay may bagong uh, Otto. Pula ang kulay ang Otto niya. Sa loob ng oto ay may orasan. Minsan kumain ng okoy si Oscar sa loob ng oto. Natapon ang suka ng okay sa upuan. Mula noon ay hindi na kumain si Oscar sa loob ng oto. I hope it isn't too cringe, but that's pretty much my my progress so far on it. And it's a pretty difficult one for me to actually read. I did notice some words I do know and a couple I don't. So what I usually do, I'll try to figure it out without actually searching anything. So of course, auto is a car. Um, I know, know uh, Pula uh, is red and Kulai is color. Um, 
Orasan is, I know, ang oras or, or, or time. So it's about time as well. Uh, kumain is about food and or eating. Um, loop, now I see loop a couple of times. I don't know. No. Auto is car again. Natapon, I don't know that. Suka, <laughs> sugar. Uh, I know uh, sugar is uh, akosal, akosal, something like that. So that in it as well. Mula, I know muli again, but not mula. So that's different as well. Hindi is um, uh, I don't um, or don't or not. So not in car. So out of the story, it's um, uh, Oscar's car. I know it's a, a red colored one. Um, and I do know that uh, he doesn't eat in the car okay normally i'll then pick out words i think uh, or, or i need to repeat uh, and uh, things i saw multiple times this is like lo op i saw a couple of times and natapon is an interesting one mula and then what i will do i'll find it find uh, um, the, what the translation is and i'll read the story again and then have a better comprehension so that's pretty much how what i do with stories and every day i'll try to do at least uh, one story and then maybe revise an old story as well so i don't forget okay enough with this angle so go back to the other one so almost at the end um i know it ain't a lot of me showing the progress and the update in that kind of uh, way i need to have a better way to actually show you i think i learned about i wanted to learn 300 words i learned about 100 and i know like maybe 50 60 by heart and other 40 are up in the air uh, which day i do know them uh, so there is progression, but not a lot. So um, I think I need to do a better job on that for sure. And a way to actually um, show you that I do have a, the progress uh, in mind. I know it's it's a long way to go, still 12 months. And eventually I'll just talk in Tagalog and I don't even have to explain you what I do and I don't know. However, uh, with the few words I do know, it's not really possible to actually get in sentences. Uh, maybe that's a thing I should do the next time. Just learn a couple of sentences to tell you. Otherwise, I'll just be sitting here and telling you the 100 words I do know. That's that's not a thing. I'm not going to do that. Uh, so, um, yeah, for the progress, uh, if you have a better solution, tell me as well. I do read the comments uh, and some are really helpful as well. So uh, let me know if you uh, find something on other shows or things that are entertaining for me to do. Uh, maybe go back to the whole uh, Tagalog tongue twisters, although even though I can talk to Galo, I think that's going to be hard as well. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I think onto the outro bit. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I know it isn't a lot. Uh, however, I do know some stuff I can do for the next time and do better. Uh, that's have better revisions. Uh, uh, I think that's a really important thing because then the retention of the words will uh, come in better. I think that's one of the things I missed out on this month because time management was really a thing didn't have a lot of time to actually put in this project and i should do more so i need to do it better with a more uh, time uh, schedule i guess uh, i think that's the best way moving forward that i actually imprint it in my own schedule uh, that i need to do otherwise it'll just be chunks and bits and pieces and then the progress won't be that much um however um that's gonna be a a, a tough one i'll figure it out for sure uh, so thank you uh, on coming uh, on this journey with me. It's still a long way to go. Uh, hopefully next time I'll just talk more Tagalog. I think in this episode it's just a lot of English and me speaking English. However, um, uh, there will be a time that this is flipped and there will be a lot of Tagalog. So uh, hold on. This is only episode one uh, and uh, there is plenty more to come. Thank you again for watching. Until the next time. Deuces.